last week I told you that I had to do a wellness check on midnight um, because she was losing her feathers. And um, so I caught her last night and gave her a good look over. And yeah, she's definitely losing her feathers on her um, on her chest and then underneath her her wings and a little bit around her vent. So um, she's too young to molt. Uh, chickens don't molt until they're around 18 months old. So it won't be this fall. It would be next fall in 2021. Um, so either she's stressed or she has an external parasite of some type. type. And um, I did look real close. I couldn't find anything. Um, chickens can get lice or um, what's called a chicken mite. And you can see them sometimes. But just to be sure, I'm going to uh, give the coop a really thorough cleaning. Um, take all the bedding out and everything. Um, wash it down. And then I'm going to dust it down with um, some diatomaceous earth. <laughs> It's hard to say. <laughs> this is a really good um, kind of more natural way to get rid of little tiny creepy crawlies. Uh, so we're going to do that. Um, it's very windy outside so I'm not going to be able to film while I do that because it's messy. Um, but after I get it all clean and taken care of I will give you guys a walkthrough of the coop. Um, again I'm not 100% sure because I didn't find any mites but that doesn't mean they aren't there. They tend to come out at night uh, and they're naughty little creatures that can really bother a chicken and make them itch. So I have to make sure that um, I treat it like they might be there because I don't want the other ladies to catch it if so or it could get so bad that uh, poor Midnight could really suffer. So we're gonna clean everything up and then we're gonna take care of her and see if uh, we can fix things. All right, so I got the coop clean from top to bottom and I am pretty dirty, <laughs> but it should be clean now. I'm gonna give you a quick tour, show you what I did, um, and hopefully this will help. So the first thing I did was remove all the bedding and um, I used boiling hot water and vinegar to wash everything so some spots are still wet and then after I washed the whole coop and all the perches and roofs um, I sprinkled it down with the uh, DE that special dirt mix um, and gave it all new bedding in the nest box and <laughs> hi cherry you've been a good girl she couldn't wait to get back in there and uh, do her thing so Everything's been washed. All of the buckets, food dish, water dishes, everything. I also cleaned all of the run. I made a fresh new dust bath for the ladies. So there's soil in there, some wood ash from our fireplace, and then um, some of the DE because it's really good for chickens to uh, roll around in that stuff. And I'm going to call the ladies back since you don't want to powder and wash everything while they're still in here. Um, fresh food in the feeder. I dumped all the sea food in so that no germs. And then I got clean fresh water of course. And those pieces in there are garlic. Garlic helps boost chicken immune system. So that's why I have that there. So everything's been dusted, cleaned, and powdered. And so I'm going to put some treats out and call the ladies back. So they're not wanting to come back quite yet. But in their treats, I added some mealworms because uh, protein helps the feathers grow back. So hopefully midnight will start recovering soon. Um, I hope this is what's causing it. I don't think she's broody because she hasn't been staying in the coop um, or the uh, nest box. Some broody hens will pull their chest feathers because they're trying to make the nest fluffier. Hi, Galaxy. <laughs> Got a visitor. Um, so. We'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys updated. Hopefully she'll be well soon. It might take a while for the feathers to go back, but I don't want her to be cold this winter, so we gotta get this taken care of. Uh, hope y'all are well and safe, and we'll see you next time.